Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Yog Box. Last time we left off, we uh, destroyed a gigantic tower, and um, let's check my door here. We got some stuff, not bad, but we could have done better. We lost that giant tower. Anywho, I was walking a little bit, and look what I discovered. About fucking time. Yes, we actually found a village in Yog Box, and it's not like the villages from um, vanilla Minecraft. They're like uh, special villages, more sophisticated and smarter. Uh, they have chests and stuff, and then people actually look like people. What a surprise. They don't look like weird Squidward things. Anyways, so, um, and they have children and stuff, and they could breed, and, like, the, the villages grow as you help them out. Uh, so, yeah, it's a village. And, you know, we'll probably set up base here, because it's good to be by a village. You know, you could buy supplies and stuff. Anyways, so I'll show you, uh, the, like, the main town hall. It's always, like, the biggest building in the village when you find it. And the villages usually start off really small. But um, what you could do is, it's pre actually pretty neat, is that you gather supplies for them, like cobblestone, planks of wood, regular wood. And, um, holy shit, it's in the middle of a giant ravine. Well, that's definitely not up to regulation code. Anyways, <clears throat> so, you go in here and you can look at this. It shows you, like, the name of the town. And it also shows you what, you're working on, what they're working on. So, like, Eleverage Bovin. And they need 547 pieces of wood. That's a lot. And that's not planks. That was, like, actual cutting down wood wood. So, that shows, like, their population, their military, and how many buildings are in the village right now. So, and so I have to gather 547 pieces for them to start building their next building in their village. So, that's a lot. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because that's, oh, God, that's busy work of the highest demand. So, um, I think our best bet here is to, uh, build a, you know, build our own little house. And here's where you can come and you could sell stuff and you can also buy things from them. Um... And you, and you basically you will sell them the wood. They, you don't do it for free. They give you money for the wood, and then you they build their houses. And there are things like Norman broadswords and Norman hoes and shovels and stuff, and they're pretty good. Uh, but you can't access a lot of the stuff in the village until you, they befriend you. You know what I mean? All right, let's go over here. I hope they're trading with us. So they talk, a little, you know, basic dialogue. There's that ravine again. Holy shit, alligators. Right, this village right... Oh. This village is right in the middle of a swamp, so this place must be populated with alligators. Oh, get off me! There we go. Okay. Hmm. Here's another basic house. Uh, the chests actually aren't empty; they just look empty. Uh, once they trust you enough, you can actually have access to all the chests and everything in them. But there's usually not that there's not really that much good stuff in them, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so holy crap, pig heaven. I better harvest these guys later for food. Oh, and here's the weird thumb craft thing. I have no idea how to access or what to do with it. I don't know what if I need like a special pickaxe or something. But uh, it's just a pillar. And it's, I think it's something to do with the thumb craft mod. That's a part of this uh, Yog box, which I never really played around with yet. I th think like it's an access to another dimension. I'm not really sure. Maybe, you know, in this plate that we'll figure it out and go in there or something. Let's take a little wreck around our surroundings. Got a little, uh, little snow biome here. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Kitty cat cat. Whew. Alrighty then. I guess the next step in our epic adventure is to build a house. Ooh, another ravine. It's good to have a base of operations we can always come back to because we're going to start branching out all over the world looking for dungeons, towers, uh, you know, exotic places to collect treasures and... Uh, Thumbcraft related items like scrolls and fe magical feathers and whatnot. How, which I'll show you guys all that as time goes on. So let's. Um, whoa, shit. Uh, ooh, there's some stuff down there. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's build a house. Time for a time skip. Okay, we just had our time skip. That was lovely. Uh, quite a few hours have passed since I last was here, and ta-da, our new home base. Uh, I know it doesn't look like much, but um. It'll get the job done. We're only going to be here for uh, dropping shit off and, you know, resting up. But here's a little storage room right here. Little hub, furnaces, crafting bench two, my bed, a chest, and my incomplete basement with an enchanting book. Uh, see? I enchanted my diamond axe, so it's badass. Well, it's only, like, got, you know, it's not that much, but whatever. So, anywho. Um, so, as you can see over there... I discovered a bunch of awesome places that we're going to go to. So, um, there's my nether portal. I built it. Maybe uh, we'll have some adventures in there if the Yogg Box has added anything cool in there. Dungeons and whatnot. 
So first thing we gotta do is to get over there, we're gonna need an airship, and I have just the pieces to build it. And that's right, I said it. There's an airship in the yacht box. So we're gonna need the dispenser, some string, two engines, boat, and a balloon. Go to our crafting bench here. So balloon on top, dispenser in the middle, boat on the bottom, engines on the left and right side, and to top it off, string on all four corners. And loop. there we go, an airship. And to power the airship, we're gonna need some coal. So let me grab, oh, what the fuck is it, there we go. Coal, oh, oh, and some arrows to shoot out. We can shoot arrows from the airship if you're ever feeling, you know, dicey. Uh, let's see, anything, nope, okay. Well, this is a crafting bench too. Uh, basically, it will show you whatever you can build with what's in your inventory, so it's kind of cool. All right, let's get go. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, let's go back to bed. Bed, 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 bed. Sleep, sleep. We should sleep first. Uh, the music is loud. We're gonna be playing our own music pretty soon. Uh, let's take a nap. All right, I'm pretty hungry. There we go. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's not a lot, but it will, it will do for now. Oh, that's actually the stream. I found that. Uh, basically, let you cut down a tree all you want. Okay, so uh, I found a bunch of shit. You know, the stuff here. Crystals, that's for thumb craft, I believe it's called. Um, I never really played with that yet in uh, Yogbox, but I guess we'll get around to it. So I'm just dropping off some shit. Uh, this is my artifacts chest. Um, I don't know what these do. Maybe you want to tell me what they do. Maybe they do nothing, they're just for show. I don't know. All right, let's get going. Onward to adventure. Oh, this way. This way to my ladder. We're going to launch the airship from the uh, roof. So let's just plop it down. Plop. Isn't she beautiful? All right. Now to access the little menu to um, to put my arrows and coal in, it's going to be... Uh, what the fuck? What? Oh, what's the button? There's a certain button you got to press to uh, access the airship inventory coal mechanism thing. Uh, nope, that's not it. Uh, nope. Uh, two seconds, people. I got this. No, don't no waypoint. Mm. That's cultures. It just shows you like what the village is, what they are. There we go. Okay, we got it. Uh, just two seconds. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this, you can put stuff in your airship inventory and you put the coal up here. There we go. And you put the arrows right here. There we go. You can put some stuff in there if you want to store some stuff, but I'm good. I'll put a torch in there. There we go. Just to show you guys. And some coal. Extra coal. All right. And we're off. Press spacebar to go up. W-A-S-D to move around. All right. This is awesome. Okay. So we're not too far away. Um, the first thing you're going to see coming up is I found another tower, which I named the Tower of Lost Souls. And uh, we just did a tower. So we're not going to go there yet. We're going to save that for down the road. And hopefully we won't fucking blow up the goddamn treasure chest on top. Let's see, here it is. There he is on top. He's waiting for me. Uh, we'll be coming for you later, boy. Just to wait. Okay, and pretty soon I'm going to be passing over what I believe I nicknamed Old King's Castle. Which, it's, um, it's like a castle dungeon. It's really, really cool. But as you can clearly see... A beautiful day in, in the og box. We got some stuff out here. It's coming into view now. Right, let me switch to third person. Get a better view. So it's a nice little castle. Um, enemies and stuff. We're gonna have a fun raiding there, kicking the shit out of all those enemies. And over to the left is the Fortress of Death, which is where we're gonna be going to today. Which is a bit of a smaller challenge than Old King's Castle. Whoa! What the fuck? Come on, chunks, load properly. Uh, it's not really nearly as big as Old King's Castle, but it'll be a nice starting castle area for us. And over here is what I nicknamed Capital City because a, test bleh, a testificate village and a normal Yogbox village spawn together, merging. So it's like this really kind of big city. So I named it Capital City, which kind of makes sense, I guess. A lot of farmlands. But it's really cool. I like the idea of like the a regular village and a and a, um, a vanilla Minecraft village coming together. So, all right, let's land this bad boy. We're going into the Fortress of Death. Balls deep. 
going to put iron armor on and a battle axe. Well, it's actually a regular axe, but uh, uh, for now, we're just going to call it a battle axe for the sake of it. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Look at yeah, this third-person view. All right, let's put on some awesome music. Let's do this. Let's go in and kick the shit out of everyone. Yep. yep, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna see some hostiles. First thing we're gonna oh, oh, these guys are easy peasy. This will be easy. Come here, shithead. These skeletons are equipped with iron armor and bows. It's really not that threatening. I'm sure there's more stuff inside, though. Potion of swiftness. Maybe we'll use that down the road. Ooh, some stuff. I'll take those books. Make some more library bookshelves for my enchanting table. I need some more food. That shit's all empty. All right. Oh, how cute! A little throne room. That must be the king. The gold armor. Get the fuck out of my way, you piece of shit. Ah, piece of cake. So, so far, really the threat's minimum at best. I need some torches. This place is pretty dark inside. Let's go upstairs first. Let's take care of the roof. Oh, hey, buddy. Come here. Get the fuck out of my castle. It's my castle now. Oh, another gold armor. Why are there any diamond armor skeletons in here? Oh, he's gone. Oh, another iron one. Nothing? No chests? No loot? <laughs> what a... Frickin' let down. Uh, nothing up here. Alright, I think we've been done with the roof area. Oh, there's a tower over there. I didn't even see that. Okay, let's go check that out. I bet the loot's up in the tower. It's gotta be. Oh, come here, son of a bitch. Hmm, a brewing stand in a cauldron. I don't really have one in my home yet. I need a blaze rod to make it, so I'm just gonna take it. I'll get it later. I bet the, oh, what the f oh, this is a, oh, this is bullshit. I guess this is the treasure right here. Give me this. I'll take this too, actually. Let's come back to the base of me. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. Let's head down to the base. Ooh, what the f ooh, it's not your day, zombie. It's not your day at all. No, oh, there's the stairs. I sit down in the basement. That must be the loot all it really is. Come on, come on. There we go. What the fuck? Get off me, zombie. Alrighty then. What's this? A spawner? Not anymore. Eh, the zombie in jail. I'll leave him in there. Ooh, library, awesome. Lots of books for me. If only I had that silk touch thing, I could just grab these bookshelves for what they are, not to get breaking up books. Man, there are tons of enemies all over this place. What the fuck? The music is interfering with my music. No good. There we go. Yeah, this is all royalty free music, so you know, nobody try to copyright, copyright me. What's down here? This basement's pretty big. It's gotta be a boss down here somewhere. Sword. 
Oh, what's this? We got some kind of test here, a trap or something. Some switches. I'm very caught. I feel the floor is going to open up on me. What does that do? What was... What the fuck? Um... Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, what? Whoa, diamonds. Oh, I knew this was coming. Oh, he's not that hard. He didn't drop any diamonds. What the fuck? Where'd he come from, then? Oh, okay. He was already open to begin with. What the fuck? What kind of trap was that? Another diamond skeleton guy. What's this? Another monster spawner. Great. Holy crap. Room full of zombies. It was a trap the whole time. Yep, yep, there we go. We spawning no more. That was a lot of them. Holy crap. Oh my god, oh my god. Whew, we're fine. Let's take this thing out. There we go. Ooh, a chest. Oh yeah, golden iron. Really not that much of good stuff, but whatever. Coal. That. Ooh, golden boots. Don't really need them. What's this? <gasps> it's the boss. Looks like a sorcerer of some kind. This will be easy. Just gotta keep on him. Come on, die, 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 die. I wanna see I wanna see what I'm doing, Jesus. He's only got me down two hearts, I'm fine. Oh, easy. Ah, oh, what we got here? Chatting table. I got some diamonds. Oh, God. Can I add some? Okay, I can repair it. But I have to disenchant to actually do more stuff to it. Oh, okay. And it costs money to disenchant it. And then, oh, okay. So you can't add stuff. You have to disenchant it first. That eh, makes sense. Hmm... So should I should I make it better than it is now? Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is now. I'm not gonna bother with it. So where's the chest? Where's the loot? I'm gonna take that with me actually. Where is the? This is it? There's no chest in here? Oh, I call bullshit on that one. There's got to be a chest in here somewhere. I'll check these bookshelves. Maybe there's like a hidden door behind one of these things. No. What? I don't know if the chest in the other one was the final chest. There's only a couple things in that. I guess the loot was the... The enchantment table, but there was one upstairs... Maybe it's behind the walls. No? What the fuck? Okay. Well, this is a small castle siege thing, so I guess it wasn't really going to be much here to begin with. Didn't even get any artifacts, either. That's kind of disappointing. Man, my freaking inventory's full of shit. Let's get out of here. All right, um, I guess that's it. So um, when we come back, we're going to go onward to our next uh, next destination. We'll pick it at random, and we'll just go and kick the shit out of whatever takes, tries to take us down. All right, guys, see you real soon.